how are we doing? Welcome to Very Yellow Me. Uh, I'm just going to sort this out just one second. Ah, just come and jump on, come and join, come and say hello. My massive apologies, I'd written in my Facebook groups that I was going to be live at one o'clock and it is now six minutes past one. Uh, yeah, my phone keeps doing this thing now. I don't know if anyone else that does Facebook lives has realised this or if it's just my phone. Uh, but I click go live, I'm like ready and raring to go and then everything just freezes. So um, yes, my apologies, just had to restart everything and get ready to go. Hi! Hi Debs, Debs is online, so yes, come and jump on, come and say hello, um, and let me know what you're up to. Uh, this is just before my lunch time, so I'm a little bit hungry, um, but I do it this time so that I can try and keep things a little bit short and a little bit snappy. I'm going to talk a bit more today, um, just so that I can give us a real good chat about three little qualities that are really, really important to me, and I really feel that I carry with me um, and keep me motivated, motivated and along that tra a train to the, along those tracks to success really so come and say hello if you're live say hi if you're not watching live that's fine pop replay in the comments so I know who's having a little look and who's here to have a bit more motivation so I'm just gonna give you a minute get everyone just to come and say hello come and jump on um, and then we'll get started while I do that here's my little introduction so I'm Katrina I'm the head of KFIT um, at KFIT we stand for getting exercise implemented into an active lifestyle that's no matter where you are no matter what you're goals are, no matter how busy you are, making sure that we can get an active lifestyle implemented in whatever kind of circumstance you have. That's the most important thing for me um, and that when people get really, really busy or really, really tired, exercise seems to just get dropped off the agenda, but there's so many ways why it should help you. And if you're wondering about that, then go and have a look at our 50 Reasons to Exercise campaign. That was my most recent campaign that gives you so many different reasons to get you motivated and going. However, that's not massively why I'm here today. I'm just talking about motivation in general and I'm going to give you three key qualities to help you succeed. Now these I've found have helped me so so much particularly this year I feel like I've kind of taken 2017 and really pushed myself um, and I've done more than I really didn't really know that I was capable of and I'm, I'm super proud of that um, and I just want to share that really that's the one thing I really want to do if I can get more people doing uh, what I'm doing and, that, and to have that same kind of feeling that I've got uh, then that's a real good good thing for me. So these things that we're going to talk about and the successes that you can have, they are in fitness and nutrition, but they're also in any aspect in your life. So you know your relationships, your work life, any kind of goals that you really have, and they really can be in so many different aspects, um, they, these, these should help you. Um, so let's jump straight in. Before we get started though, can I just ask you one little favour? If there's one thing that you do and one thing that you take from this, um, I would love for you to share it with somebody else. So whether that is that you tag someone in the comments or you just hit the share button and then your whole news feed can just have a little look you never know who's going to stop and actually look at it but it's been really really useful and really helpful to me and it's, you never know who you're going to help motivate and you know that feeling when you've got that kind of rush of blood and you're so excited about something why wouldn't you share that so please 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 hit that share button so let's go straight in with reason number one. So reason number one to help you succeed is to be in the right mindset. Mindset is so, so important and I actually think that this is thrown around quite a lot. That yeah, you need to be in the right mindset so that you can succeed. Well, what do you do if you're not in the right mindset? Well, there's a few things we can do. First of all, I'm gonna call you out. If you've ever had a moment where you feel completely unmotivated, send me a little thumbs up. Just put it across the screen now, just let me know, let me see those thumbs up come in. I am totally there, I, I will give myself a thumbs up after this, well done me. You know, you can totally, you can feel so unmotivated about something and it's really hard to get yourself out of that, yeah? You kind of put yourself into a little rut and it's really hard to pull yourself out of that. That's mindset. If you can get yourself in the right mindset, then you can carry on. Actually, tell you what, if you're in that mindset right now, send me a little heart. If you are in an, an unmotivated mindset at the moment, you just can't pick yourself up to do something, particularly in this really freezing cold weather, send me a little heart across the screen. Just let me know. You know what? I'm feeling this today. I need a little bit more motivation. Send me a little heart. Um, now, I've got a quote for you. This has really, really helped me. This, is, this quote is... Where you place your attention is where the magic happens. Okay, now if you like that, send me a little heart. That's one of the most important things. Where you place your attention is where the magic happens. So you know, if you wanna get really far ahead in your work, you know, you've gotta put a bit more graft and work in there. 
just thinking about it that way, you go, right, well, if that's what I'm going to do, I kind of need to do this. And then you, you, you can kind of work out where you need to go from there and what needs to be done. Where you place your attention is where the magic happens. Now, there's actually loads of methods you can use as well to get you into the right mindset. Um, so I try and have things, I try and surround myself with things that keep me motivated. So actually, that quote is from my diary. My diary has so many quotes in it. Um, my diary is amazing. Uh, it has different quotes quotes even at the bottom of every, every single page every month you get a new page with a quote on it which by the way you get to color in like it's such a good diary um, and yeah so I, I surround myself with that I also listen to people so people that motivate me I watch the videos very much like this I watch a little Facebook live most mornings while I'm getting ready I'll just put a listen to it don't need to watch it I can just listen and get ready and listen and just get motivated and that really sets me up for my day there's podcasts there's loads and loads of things that you can listen to you have to find the right people that motivate you though and then you can just stay with them so if I am motivating you come and have a listen to more Facebook lives and then you can get yourself set up and ready for your day and knowing what you're going to do because I totally do it and it really really works now there's also exercises that you can do so something I recently did um, I was kind of pulling in all sorts of different directions didn't really know what I was going to do next um, and I did a priority list so this is something I say it's a list it's actually with I used um post-it notes and I wrote down all the things that I absolutely love in every aspect of my life so you know my partner my, my life with my partner my family um, my job I love my job if you can't tell um, but then all the things what do I like about my job what are the things that you know I can be pulled in so many different directions what are the ones that are right for me you write down everything that you love and then you go right well what bits what if I could if I could had to take one of those away what would it be and it's so tough, it's really hard. And you know, it's only a theoretical thing, it's not something that actually happens. Um, but then you just have to start taking them away. And then before you know it, there you've got your priority. So that's a really good thing to work at and then just go, you know what, that's what I need to work on. That's where I need to set my mind on. My mindset has changed, I'm ready to go. You know, and then that's your motivation, you are ready to go for it. So that's kind of your reason number one summed up. So reason number one, get yourself into the right mindset. Let's move it on to reason number two. First of all, if you like reason number one, send me another little thumbs up. I'm all about the thumbs up today, please, please, please. Number two, accountability. So this is not necessarily something that you can do on your own. And sometimes I feel like we can put our little superhero capes on and we kind of feel like we can do everything. We can conquer the world on our own. That's kind of what my, <laughs> your mindset might give you. But it's really good to tell someone about it because when you're feeling good like that, you're like, yeah, I can go for it. And then you have another day and you go, oh, I'm not feeling it quite as much. Um, and then that's where you need your accountability. So I actually have the best accountability in terms of fitness. I I, I run fitness classes. If I'm not going to go and exercise there, then there is a room of people waiting for me and I'm not there. If that's not enough accountability, then my God, I, I can't even imagine the, the, the stress I, I would have if I wasn't there, you know? So I have the best accountability ever there. However, for my nutrition, I need to tell someone about it. I need to log and say, you know, this is actually what I've eaten today. And this is, you know, that, that's a harder thing for me to do. So that's where I have Sarah in the, in the KFIT club, the foodie. She's always going, what did everyone have for dinner last night? What did you do for your breakfast? Making sure that everyone is actually kind of on the right track. Um, so as soon as you have a goal that you want, it's really, really good to voice it. And as I said, I've just talked that about fitness and nutrition, but it can be for absolutely anything. You know, I want to travel the world. Okay, let's start putting those pieces together and get you there. You tell someone that and then you're held accountable. So there's plenty of ways that you can hold yourself accountable. So you may want to do it with a close friend, or you may even find there's just someone that's in the same kind of area as you, say it's, say it's in your fitness group or you know in your work group, you know, hold me accountable for this, I wanna do this. That's a really good way to get that accountability. And as soon as you've told someone, they're gonna hold you to it. And make sure you tell it to someone that is actually, you know, cares enough to do that. Um, and, you know, this, this quote's really, really good. I've given you a little quote for every single, um, every single quality for this. Action beats intention every single time. Action beats intention every single time. So, so important, the amount of times that you talk about it. And I do think that voicing it is the first step. 
then you have to go and do it. You know, and that accountability is going to get you there. So action beats intention. Send me a little love heart if you liked that. Thanks, Debs. Debs has sent me one already. Thank you very, very much. So yeah, you can find that accountability. You've just got to find the right way that's best for you. There is no right or wrong. Just get yourself accountable. So that's reason number two. Reason number three, and this is a super important one, and actually one that I actually battle with quite a lot, and I'm sure I'm not alone with that, is self-belief. You have to believe in yourself. If you want to reach a goal, you have to believe that you can get there. You have to see it, you have to think about it, you have to dream about it. You know, all of these different things, they all kind of come together. If you don't think you're capable of doing it, you're probably not gonna do it. You know, you have to say to yourself, I want to do this, I'm going to do this because I'm good enough to do this. So, so important. And you know, I might seem like a really confident person because I can sit and do a Facebook Live for however many minutes I've already been going. I tell you what, this is because I have spent a really, really long time practicing Facebook Lives. And I still will probably finish this and feel like I've just rambled on for ages and no one's gonna listen to it, no one's gonna wanna know, um, and no, no one's really ever gonna watch this again. I'm just kind of talking to a screen um, and, and that's that, you know? And it's, it's you know, that's, but that's my problem, that's my shit, you know? Just said shit on a Facebook Live twice. Um, but you know, there's been loads and loads of things in my life that have given me confidence knocks. I've talked about this before and this is a real big thing why I love my classes and what I try and build, what I stand for in our classes is a big build of confidence, you know? Coming into a big class of people can be really, really tough. I wanna give people that confidence to actually go and do that. I've been in environments where it has been so sucky, like so absolutely terrible, so judgmental, um, that I never ever wanna go back to that again. Ever, ever, it was the worst feeling and honestly it makes you go down so quick. No motivation there whatsoever, you know? So it may seem like I have the best confidence in the world, but you always reflect and you're always your own worst critic. And it's so important that you have that self-belief. So have a little think about that. What is it that you really, really want to achieve? What do you want to achieve in your health? What do you want to achieve in your fitness? What do you want to achieve in your career? You know, what do you want to achieve in your relationships? Do you want to be able to, you know, if, if you're married, do you want to go and have kids? Is there something that you really want to do? Do you want to travel? Where would you like to go? What do you want to do? You have so many possibilities, you have to believe in yourself to get there. So that is something to think about. Now, if you have the right mindset and the right accountability, you're already there. We get knockbacks. We get so many knockbacks and it happens all the time. And actually, I'm really good at that. I, I get very nice things that happen to me. I'm very, I'm very fortunate in that I have a wonderful family. I have a wonderful partner. I have really, really lovely things that are going on in my life. I love my job and I get some very nice comments. I get some very, very nice comments about the work that I do. However, I could have someone leave a class and that hits me, you know? That really, I care about that person and it hits me. And you know, that's, without, you know, everyone has their own reasons and I totally don't blame anyone for that at all. But it's a knockback, isn't it? You care about every single thing that happens to you and we're sensitive souls. I am a rather sensitive soul, very happy to and open to admit that really, really important that you just believe in yourself. You might have that moment, and actually I feel quite, I feel quite glad that I have that moment because it shows that I care. Like, there's so many people, if, if you felt like, oh, right, well, screw you, yeah, you probably still hurt about it, um, but it's because you care. So important that you care, but believe in yourself. Pick yourself back up and carry on, okay? It's not about how you get knocked down, it's about how you get back up again. Hello, cheese. So. Quote for this one, for your self-belief, why not me? Totally, totally possible. Why not me? That's it, really. That's all you have to think. I am capable of doing that. I will go and do that, you know? If your goal is, I'm gonna run a marathon tomorrow and you get breathless running up the stairs, 
yeah you know you're probably not um but make it make it measurable make it achievable um and it is with any kind of goal that you have as i said i keep coming back to that it can be fitness and nutrition um can you know the fitness is my area but this is something that I have used in so many of my areas in my life. I really, really love this. Like, and particularly my career. The big things, big steps that I have moved K-Fit into, not necessarily about fitness. It's, it's fitness related. But for, for me personally, it's about building and growing and reaching more people to get them fit. Yeah, I've had to have so much self-belief in what I do. 100%. So, to recap. And... <laughs> I don't know how long I've been talking for, um, but I have notes. I have bits on my window of notes to uh, make sure that I don't ramble too much. And on one of my notes, it just says, don't waffle. And I've drawn a picture of a waffle um, and I'm waffling talking about it, but I, I just entertain myself. Um, anyway, let's recap. Let's go through everything. So reason number one, you want to be in the right mindset. If you're not in the right mindset, use those exercises to help you. Pop anything in the comments and let me know. If there is anything you're really feeling you need a bit more help with, then if I have any knowledge that I can give you, I will give you it, okay? Reason number two, accountability, okay? If you need to kick up the bum, send me a heart and I will send you some accountability. You know, tell me. If you want me to be the person that make, holds you accountable, then do it. Pop it in the comments. I'm very happy with that. Debs, I'm already holding you accountable for ab cycle pullovers over Christmas, which I'm terrified about, but you've got to hold me accountable too. <laughs> um, and three, self-belief. Believe in yourself. Be, uh, you know, think about how much you can achieve and push yourself. Go for the biggest thing, you know, dream really, really high, climb to the top of the mountain, and then when you get halfway, realize how far you've come, you know? It doesn't matter if you never quite get to that point, but you've probably really opened up your horizons, even by dreaming that big. So go for it, totally, totally go for it. Now, if you think that was a really good message today, which I hope you did, and I hope you've got at least one little nugget out of that that you can take away with you, please send me a little love heart, a little thumbs up. Also, share it. As I said right at the start, hours and hours ago, that you need to share this so that other people can get motivated. There's so many possibilities for other people and for yourself and for your happiness and success and happiness coming together. I really think that everyone's successes are different um, and mine is really like a, a being, I, I love success but I see it as in how happy I am and how balanced my life is. Um, it's different for every single person but it's reachable for every single person. So if you can hit that share button, that would make me so happy, happy no end. So please, please do and just get other people thinking and understanding about what what they can do and how they can motivate themselves. Um, so thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to be jumping on with these a few more, a few more times. I think. I think I'm just going to do. Uh, I've done recent series where I've jumped on every single day. Um, what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to jump on with more of a topic, just one big topic. We're going to talk it out. If you have any questions or anything, or whether this is live or on replay, if there's something that has resonated with you, pop it in the comments. I'd love to know if there's something there. What was that little nugget that you took? Please pop it in the comments and let me know because I would love to love to know. Um, so that's all the information for today. Um, I'm going to pop into the KFIT fam group and the KFIT club group, so our free book group and our paid group, and just see if there's anyone that wants to talk about this a little bit more. If you want to join our free group, I'll pop it in the comments so you can go and have a look, but I'm always going to notify everyone before I go on, go on for a live. So if you want to know when we're going to have our next talk, jump into the Facebook group and then you'll get those notifications. Thank you so much for listening and for watching, whether it's live or on replay. Um, I will be back very very, very soon but hope you have a wonderful I can't talk anymore I've talked for hours people hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll speak to you very very soon bye